Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Bagel Sunday. The temperature is currently 27 degrees. Everything is a sheet of ice. Hopefully today, I mean, it's only 27 now, but it's supposed to get up into the 40s, and I'm hoping that that will melt a considerable amount of this so that it just doesn't keep lingering around. All right, let's go snarf bagels. All right, kids, we're off to the, I almost said chiropractor, the eye doctor. I just had my appointment. I let her know that those contacts just weren't good for me for closed vision, which is what I wanted them for that I basically uh, hold on a second I'll tell you what's going on right now is that I had my freaking eyes dilated I forgot about that and now it is just absolutely painful oh that's ever so much better let's cover my whole eye now the dilating shit sucks I hate it but I also know that because I'm getting old I need to have my eyes checked properly and that included having the dilation today. So my eyes are healthy, but right now, because they're dilated, it's making everything all wonky. And because it is super bright and sunny and everything is coated with white snow, it, it's like the worst possible day I could have had my eyes dilated. So I'm having a hard time seeing a lot, which is why I put on these like wraparound sunglasses and hopefully I'll be good to go or I'll wreck and get arrested because I did all this shit while I was driving with dilated eyes. Right now, I'm actually headed to three ships, even though it's only like not even quarter after one, but I guess they close at two today and I kind of want some caffeine. So I want to go there now early for us and get that. And then I will head home and figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Bean has been gotten. Okay, this is absolutely brutal, this dilation. I put the glasses back on because I started to be, not be able to read anything. So I definitely am going to be going home and sitting there until this crap wears off. I don't know how long it's supposed to take, a couple hours, I hope. I thought about going to Pleasure House Point and filming since, you know, okay, the snow is melting and all that kind of stuff, but it should still look pretty. But Jesus, I'll be blind walking through there if I, if I try to do that. So that would be Dumb Monkey, and I don't feel like doing Dumb Monkey right now. Back in the studio, a lot of exploration today. What you're seeing now is the footage on the Ninja. This is the first time I've hooked this camera up to the Ninja. That wasn't easy to do. Remember how I was complaining about having to use the little micro HDMI? I had a shit ton of those cables, but I couldn't find any full-size HDMI to full-size HDMI, with the exception of one that I was using for an external monitor, for that field warp monitor, and it had a coiled cable, and it just, the way that I had this set up right now, it's not a very tight-fitting giggity on a, like a magic arm, so it kept pulling the Ninja and twisting it around. So obviously I couldn't do that. The only other full size to full size HDMI cable that I found was like 10 feet long. And I was using that for a TV somewhere. And I couldn't use that because that's not realistic. I don't want all that cable hanging here. So I went into the magical drawers and lo and behold, I found this cable. Here's the thing, as, as I'm looking at myself, it looks fantastic. I'm in focus. I'm exaggerating my gestures, you know, doing the Kermit the Frog thing just to try to see if it'll hunt. And it's not hunting, it's not focus breathing because I have focus breathing compensation on, yay! But what is happening is that the Ninja keeps flickering off. So I don't think this cable is good or somewhere I have, like somewhere in here, it's just not staying connected and, and the image keeps blinking off. Also, I had to then go into the camera and find the setting so that my screen didn't black out because I like to be able to see what I'm on there. So right now, the typical settings, the you know the manual, I'm on 150th f2.8 and it's at ISO 6400. I, I, I have it on auto ISO. I don't pay attention to it really all that much. It looks fine. When I first sit down on the screen though, it's pretty dark. And then once it gets my melon in there, it starts to, to even out. That's pretty much what I've been doing is I've been trying to go through all my gear and get it set up for now having this a7 IV rather than the a7C or any other thing I had because if I was using the ZV-1s as well then all this stuff or even the a6600s it was all the micro HDMI and it just hit me too as I was looking around that the Weeble that I have you know the the HDMI that goes into the transmitter AI 
also was a micro. So I had to go into the closet, find the box for the transmitter AI, and hope that I put all the cables in there, which I did. I left them all in there, and I found the full-size to full-size HDMI cable and replaced that right away. Now, I haven't hooked that up and tried it, but that'll come later this week, maybe. I'll, I'll give it a test. I probably should have done it today when everything was icy because then I'd be walking like I was trying to carry a cherry in my butt crack and holding onto the, the weeble and trying to make sure that it was all smooth and gimbly like that's for another time. That's really all I've got for you today. I've already started my office day. I went in and you know, the laundry's already in the dryer actually at this point. I've had a late lunch and I'm ready to go. Pupil dilation is still going on now. I looked it up because she didn't really say how long it was gonna be. Minimum four to six hours. And I'm just now starting to be able to kind of see clearly. When your pupils are open like that, it's really hard to see. So. Uh, glad that's over with, but they are kind of feeling kind of scratchy right now because I guess she put some kind of numbing drop in and then she put the freaking dilating shit in and it's just been a mess ever since then. So uh, because I couldn't see again, that's why I didn't go out and do anything, but I was able to sort of like grope around here and, and figure out something to do. I don't really have all that much to do for my, for my office day, uh, especially since I'm not going on the road. And, but I do have a lot of things that I want to do, but I can do those all week. And I am going to continue going through and figuring out how to do stuff. Every little bit that I get into, I start to realize that, oh yeah, I forgot to set that. And like things like the HDMI, because I just, I wasn't even connecting to the Ninja or didn't even think about it. And then all of a sudden I had to, and I was like, oh shit, I don't have the right cable. Oh shit, I don't have the right cable for the freaking Weeble either. So little things like that are going to come up and I'm going to have to start paying attention. And I might just take one day this week where I sit down with the A7C and this camera and I line by line go through and make sure that I have this set up the way that I want it set up. And then I can go through each line of the, this menu again to make sure that I haven't missed something that's semi-new and I'll write it down and be like, okay, what the hell is this? Do I need it? What should I do? Lots to learn. I'm so excited. All right. Other than that, that's it. That's all I've got for you. I do want to hear your thoughts on what this footage looks like that I have taken from the camera right to the Ninja. And this is also going to be the first time that I'm going to take stuff off the Ninja from this camera onto the MacBook. Air M1 and see how it handles it. I don't think it's going to be a problem. It hasn't been a problem for anything else. So that's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.